What type of vehicle could you expect to meet in the middle of the road? A. Lorry. B. Bicycle. C. Car. D. Motorcycle. The correct answer is A. Lorry. What must you do at this junction? A. Stop behind the line, edge forward to see clearly. B. Stop beyond the line, at a point where you can see clearly. C. Stop only if there's traffic on the main road. D. Stop only if you're turning right. The correct answer is A. Stop behind the line, edge forward to see clearly. What should you do if a driver pulls out of a side road in front of you, causing you to brake hard? A. Ignore the error and stay calm. B. Flash your lights to show your annoyance. C. Sound your horn to show your annoyance. D. Overtake as soon as possible. The correct answer is A. Ignore the error and stay calm. How would age affect an older person's driving app for left lie? A. They won't be able to obtain car insurance. B. They'll need glasses to read road signs. C. They'll take longer to react to hazards. D. They won't signal at junctions. The correct answer is C. They'll take longer to react to hazards. What will help you to move off on a snowy surface? A. Using the car's lowest gear. B. Using a higher gear than normal. C. Using a high engine speed. D. Using the parking brake and foot brake. The correct answer is C. Using a high engine speed. What should you do when you're driving in snowy conditions? A. Brake firmly and quickly. B. Be ready to steer sharply. C. Use side lights only. D. Brake gently in plenty of time. The correct answer is D. Brake gently in plenty of time. What's the main benefit of driving a four-wheel drive vehicle? A. Improved grip on the road. B. Lower fuel consumption. C. Shorter stopping distances. D. Improved passenger comfort. The correct answer is A. Improved grip on the road. You're about to go down a steep hill. What should you do to control the speed of your vehicle? A. Select a high gear and use the brakes carefully. B. 
Select a high gear and use the brakes firmly. C. Select a low gear and use the brakes carefully. D. Select a low gear and avoid using brakes. The correct answer is C. Select a low gear and use the brakes carefully. You're following a slower moving vehicle. What should you do if there's a junction just ahead on the right? A. Overtake after checking your mirrors and signaling. B. Only consider overtaking when you're past the junction. C. Accelerate quickly to overtake before reaching the junction. D. Slow down and prepare to overtake on the left. The correct answer is B. Only consider overtaking when you're past the junction. What should you do as you approach this overhead bridge? A. Move out to the center of the road before going through. B. Find another route, this one is only for high vehicles. C. Be prepared to give way to large vehicles in the middle of the road. D. Move across to the right hand side before going through. The correct answer is C. Be prepared to give way to large vehicles in the middle of the road. Why are vehicle mirrors often slightly curved, convex? A. They give a wider field of vision. B. They totally cover blind spots. C. They make it easier to judge the speed of the traffic behind. D. They make the traffic behind look bigger. The correct answer is A. They give a wider field of vision. You're on a three-lane motorway. How should you overtake a slow-moving lorry in the middle line if it's showing this sign? A. Cautiously approach the lorry, then overtake on either side. B. Follow the lorry until you can leave the motorway. C. Use the right-hand lane and overtake the lorry normally. D. Approach with care and overtake on the left of the lorry. The correct answer is D. Approach with care and overtake on the left of the lorry. What should you do when you park a car facing downhill? A. Turn the steering wheel towards the curb. B. Park close to the bumper of another car. C. Park with two wheels on the curb. D. Turn the steering wheel away from the curb. The correct answer is A. Turn the steering wheel towards the curb. You're driving in a built-up area that has traffic calming measures. What should you do when you approach a road hump? A. Move across to the left-hand side if the road. B. Wait for any pedestrians to cross. C. Check your mirror and slow down. D. Stop and check both pavements.
The correct answer is C. Check your mirror and slow down. On what type of road surface may anti-lock brakes be ineffective? A. Dry. B. Loose. C. Firm. D. Smooth. The correct answer is B. Loose. You're driving a vehicle that has anti-lock brakes. How should you apply the foot brake when you need to stop in an emergency? A. Slowly and gently. B. Slowly but firmly. C. Rapidly and gently. D. Rapidly and firmly. The correct answer is D. Rapidly and firmly. What can result when you travel for long distances in neutral, known as coasting? A. Improvement in control. B. Easier steering. C. Reduction in control. D. Increased fuel consumption. The correct answer is C. Reduction in control. What should you do before starting a journey in foggy weather? A. Wear a high visibility jacket. B. Have a caffeinated drink. C. Allow more time. D. Reduce your tire pressures. The correct answer is C. Allow more time. What should you do when you're overtaking a motorcyclist on a windy day? A. Pass closely. B. Pass very slowly. C. Pass widely. D. Pass immediately. The correct answer is C. Pass widely. You're driving along a country road. You see this sign. What should you do after dealing safely with the hazard? A. Check your tire pressures. B. Switch on your hazard warning lights. C. Accelerate briskly. D. Test your brakes. The correct answer is D. Test your brakes. What would suggest you driving on an icy road? A. There's less wind noise. B. There's less tires noise. C. There's less transmission noise. D. There's less engine noise. The correct answer is B. There's less tires noise. You're driving along a wet road. How can you tell if your vehicle's tires are losing their grip on the surface? A. The engine will stall. B. 
the steering will feel very heavy. C. The engine noise will increase. D. The steering will feel very light. The correct answer is D. The steering will feel very light. In which conditions will your overall stopping distance increase? A. In the rain. B. In fog. C. At night. D. In strong winds. The correct answer is A. In the rain. You're driving on an open road in dry weather. What distance should you keep from the vehicle in front? A. A two-second time gap. B. One car length. C. Two meters, six feet six inches. D. Two car lengths. The correct answer is A. A two-second time gap. Which road user has caused a hazard? A. The parked car, arrowed A. B. The pedestrians waiting to cross, arrowed B. C. The moving car, arrowed C. D. The car turning, arrowed D. The correct answer is A. The parked car, arrowed A. What should the driver of the car approaching the crossing do? A. Continue at the same speed. B. Sound the horn. C. Drive through quickly. D. Slow down and get ready to stop. The correct answer is D. Slow down and get ready to stop. What should the driver of the light blue car be especially aware of? A. The uneven road surface. B. Traffic following behind. C. Doors opening on parked cars. D. Empty parking spaces. The correct answer is C. Doors opening on parked cars. You're following other vehicles in fog. You have your headlights on clipped beam. What else can you do to reduce the chances of being in a collision? A. Keep close to the vehicle in front. B. Use main beam instead of dipped headlights. C. Keep up with the faster vehicles. D. Keep a safe distance from the vehicle in front. The correct answer is D. Keep a safe distance from the vehicle in front. What should you do when you're using a contraflow system? A. Choose an appropriate lane in good time. B. Switch lanes to make better progress. C. Increase speed to get through the contraflow more quickly. D. Follow other motorists closely to avoid long queues.
The correct answer is A. Choose an appropriate lane in good time. How can you avoid wheelsmen when you're driving on an icy road? A. Drive at a slow speed in the highest gear possible. B. Use the parking brake if the wheels start to slip. C. Brake gently and repeatedly. D. Drive in a low gear at all times. The correct answer is A. Drive at a slow speed in the highest gear possible. What would you expect if you see this sign ahead? A. The road will go steeply uphill. B. The road will go steeply downhill. C. The road will bend sharply to the left. D. The road will bend sharply to the right. The correct answer is C. The road will bend sharply to the left. What should you do as you approach this cyclist? A. Try to overtake before the cyclist gets to the junction. B. Flash your headlights at the cyclist. C. Slow down and allow the cyclist to turn. D. Rev your engine so the cyclist knows you're following behind. The correct answer is C. Slow down and allow the cyclist to turn. Why must you take great care when emerging from this junction? A. The road surface is poor. B. The footpath is narrow. C. The curbs are high. D. The view is restricted. The correct answer is D. The view is restricted. Which type of vehicle should you be ready to give way to as you approach this bridge? A. Bicycles B. Buses C. Motorcycles D. Cars The correct answer is B. Buses. How can you use your vehicle's engine as a brake? A. By changing to a lower gear. B. By selecting reverse gear. C. By changing to a higher gear. D. By selecting neutral gear. The correct answer is A. By changing to a lower gear. How should you use anti-lock brakes when you need to stop in an emergency? A. Keep pumping the foot brake to prevent skidding. B. Brake normally but grip the steering wheel tightly. C. Brake promptly and firmly until you've stopped. D. Apply the parking brake to reduce the stopping distance. The correct answer is C. 
Brake promptly and firmly until you've stopped. What light should you use when you're driving on a wet motorway and vehicles are throwing up surface spray? A. Hazard warning lights. B. Dipped headlights. C. Rear fog lights. D. Side lights. The correct answer is B. Dipped headlights. What should you do if you think the driver of the vehicle in front has forgotten to cancel their right indicator? A. Flash your lights to alert the driver. B. Sound your horn before overtaking. C. Overtake on the left if there's room. D. Stay behind and don't overtake. The correct answer is D. Stay behind and don't overtake. What's the main hazard the driver of the red car, arrowed, should be aware of? A. Glare from the sun may affect the driver's vision. B. The black car may stop suddenly. C. The bus may move out into the road. D. Oncoming vehicles will assume the driver is turning right. The correct answer is C. The bus may move out into the road. What type of vehicle displays the yellow sign? A. A broken down vehicle. B. A school bus. C. An ice cream van. D. A private ambulance. The correct answer is B. A school bus. What's the main cause of skidding? A. The weather. B. The driver. C. The vehicle. D. The road. The correct answer is B. The driver. You're driving in freezing conditions. What should you do as you approach a sharp bend? A. Coast into the bend. B. Apply your parking brake. C. Firmly use your foot brake. D. Slow down gently. The correct answer is D. Slow down gently. You're about to start a journey in freezing weather. What part of your vehicle should you clear of ice and snow? A. The aerial. B. The windows. C. The bumper. D. The boot. The correct answer is B. The windows. Do you need to plan rest stops when you're planning a long journey? A. Yes, you should plan to stop every half an hour. B. 
Yes, regular stops help concentration. C. No, you'll be less tired if you get there as soon as possible. D. No, only fuel stops will be needed. The correct answer is B. Yes, regular stops help concentration. What should you do if the red lights start flashing as you approach a level crossing? A. Go over it quickly. B. Go over it carefully. C. Stop before the barrier. D. Switch on your hazard warning lights. The correct answer is C. Stop before the barrier. You're approaching a crossroads. What should you do if the traffic lights have failed? A. Brake and stop only for large vehicles. B. Brake sharply to stop before looking. C. Be prepared to brake sharply to a stop. D. Be prepared to stop for any traffic. The correct answer is D. Be prepared to stop for any traffic. What should the driver of the red car, arrowed, do? A. Wave towards the pedestrians who are waiting to cross. B. Wait for the pedestrian in the road to cross. C. Quickly drive behind the pedestrian in the road. D. Tell the pedestrian in the road she shouldn't have crossed. The correct answer is B. Wait for the pedestrian in the road to cross. What does it mean if the electronic stability control, escape, indicator lamp lights up while you're driving? A. The escape system has activated. B. The escape system has a fault. C. The escape system is running a routine test. D. The escape system is switched off. The correct answer is A. The escape system has activated. Where would you expect to see these markers? A. On a motorway sign. B. On a railway bridge. C. On a large goods vehicle. D. On a diversion sign. The correct answer is C. On a large goods vehicle. What's the main hazard shown on this picture? A. Vehicles turning right. B. Vehicles doing U-turns. C. The cyclist crossing the road. D. Parked cars around the corner. The correct answer is C. The cyclist crossing the road.